The Pioneer Saloon is located in Good Springs, an unincorporated community in Clark County, Nevada. The town is small, with a population of just over 200 full-time residents. Named for Joseph Good, whose cattle frequented a spring nestled in the southeastern foothills of the Spring Mountains, Good Springs was once the heart of the most productive mining district in Clark County. Built in 1913 by local businessman George Fail and his wife Jean, the Pioneer Saloon was formed out of stamped tin from the Sears Roebuck Company and is thought to be the last of its kind in the United States. The legendary bar was manufactured by the Brunswick Company of Maine in the 1860s. The brass rail at the foot of the bar and the pot-bellied iron stove are both original. The saloon was issued the first liquor license in Clark County and has been in continuous operation for 106 years. On the side of the building, you can still find a bullet hole that was the result of a gunfight on June 26, 1917, in which Paul Kosky was killed. It is said that he is one of several ghosts that call the Pioneer home. Another spirit said to haunt the saloon is Jim, a Native American man who was trampled to death in the road just outside the saloon. On October 23, 1948, Ruby Hill Barnes was murdered at the Mercantile Store, which was next door to the saloon. She was just 30 years old. Her murder was never solved, and it is believed she too haunts the saloon and neighboring Mercantile Store turned cafe. We investigated the saloon and the former Mercantile Store on November 3, 2018. It was a clear night with temperatures near 41 degrees with no wind and zero precipitation. We began our investigation in the old mercantile store, sitting in a booth near the spot where Ruby was murdered. During our EVP session, we had some REM pod activity and heard some unexplained noises coming from the back room. During a spirit box session, two of us clearly heard a woman's voice, twice, that did not come from the spirit box. These voices are difficult to hear, so you might need to use headphones. Well, yeah, you stick it right up there. Well, no, look, it was still going. So, no, you can't even say that, so. Now. Did you hear that? What? I just heard, hello? Later in the evening, we moved next door to the saloon. After hearing the story of David Butterfield, the bartender who committed suicide while working behind the bar, and toasting the spirits with a shot of whiskey, we moved to the back room poker table. We began to see shadow movement behind the curtain that separated the poker room from the back room. We captured a lot of K2 activity and heard what sounded like a woman sob and then a man speaking. It's okay if you want to come out and, and let us see you. Did you hear that? I'm hearing it. Hello? I just heard a man. I did too. You, you heard that? Yeah. What did you, I didn't hear it. Yeah, it was, I couldn't tell you what I he could, said. He, he said there was a word, yeah. He said a couple of words. Hello? We can hear you also. You heard that, right? I heard yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it too? <laughs> what was that? It's a man. It's a man. It keeps responding. Yeah. It's a man. It keeps talking to him. Later, we caught a second male voice. During our time in the poker room, we did capture one light anomaly, as our host mentioned that the spirits liked having us around. And finally, our investigator felt her chair move, as if someone shook it. In this next clip, look closely at the lights from the laser grid. You can clearly see them move, as if something shook the camera. We did check with the USGS, and there were no quakes or tremors that could have caused this.
Another interesting piece of the Pioneer Saloon history is the small memorial to both Clark Gable and Carol Lombard. Miss Lombard's plane, TWA Flight 3, crashed into nearby Potosi Mountain on January 16, 1942. The saloon and a hotel that was located next door were the centers of operation for the search. That accident resulted in Miss Lombard's death. While we couldn't find evidence that Gable was at the saloon during the search, local newspapers actually report he was waiting at the El Rancho Hotel in Las Vegas. Local lore says he waited at the bar for three days. As a side note, the Good Spring Cemetery, the final resting place for the Fales and Ruby, is also claimed to be haunted. We did visit the cemetery to pay our respects to the former residents of this small desert town just 25 minutes from the busyness of Las Vegas. Heading into its second century, the Pioneer Saloon remains a beloved watering hole for both locals and visitors from around the world. Is it haunted? We can't say for sure whether Paul Kosky, Ruby Barnes, or Jim haunt this western saloon, but we are pretty sure someone does.